some book in... I do have some uh, uh, in the uh, uh, Yep. Please, you can sure. show your... Uh, I, I, am, um, I just got this a week ago, so I, I am, only have a few things, but I, uh, I have uh, mostly downloaded free books, so I have, uh, I have many books by H.G. Wells. I went and got a, a lot of Wells books. And I, uh, these are writers. Flannery O'Connor is an American writer, and Franz Kafka and Jane Austen, and me, <laughs> and uh, P.G. Woodhouse is a com comic writer, you know him, uh, he wrote uh, Mr. Jeeves' stories, and Mark Twain, and F. Scott Fitzgerald, and who else? H.G. Wells, and Herman Melville, uh, and then some other books that are not so many, uh, like uh, Marcus Aurelius, and uh, James Joyce, and uh, who else? W.E.B. Du Bois was an African-American writer, uh, wrote about black issues. Uh, Robert Louis Stevenson, Emily Dickinson Poetry, Lewis Carroll, Gustave Flaubert, I've never read My Adam Bovary, I want to read it. And The Republic by Plato. So. Did you have a lot of classics? Well, uh, one thing about classics is they're free. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, Edgar Allan Poe, Frankenstein, uh, Scarlet Letter. So uh, I have, I've not bought any books yet, so I'm, I'll get around to that. I'm not sure I, uh, what I'm going to start with there. <laughs> okay. Um, now, uh, last question. Um, what do you think about the future of science fiction? Huh? It's uh, maybe uh, to talk about the future of the future. Yeah. But. Uh, Science fiction has turned into a common place now. It's uh, everywhere now, isn't it? Yeah. So uh, we we can say in some uh, way that uh, science fiction is the present, as we know it. We have uh, cell phones that are more powerful than the first computers we. We want to books. This is a, this would be a miracle. Went to the moon. 20, yeah. 20 years ago, this would be a miracle. Okay. Yeah. Now it's, uh, we all agree in that. Yeah. So, how you see the future? Of it's hard to keep track of all of it. I think. Uh, and you know, when I was younger, I was more aware of all the things that were possible in science fiction. I mean, uh, and actually, I was better read. I, as I've gotten older, I don't read as much mm -hmm. of what's going on in science fiction. So. Um, you know, I, know I, think that, I think there will always be science fiction. Uh, it may not be called science fiction anymore because, uh, you know, the genre used to be all just a uh, small area. I mean, it's all in, only in the science fiction magazines. And now there's lots of writers who write things that I think are science fiction. And they don't they, want to call it science fiction. They don't fiction. call it science fiction, and it isn't published as science fiction. And things like this, uh, uh, there was a movie recently based on a book called Never Let, Let Me Go about uh, Ichiguro. Cloning, cloning Ichiguro. He's not a science fiction writer, you know, no one calls him a science fiction writer, but that's about cloning, okay? Yeah. And, it's, it's, <laughs> and so it is a science fiction story, and, and I think there's more and more of that. Now, the, the, the French writer the, the has a, a lot of work that deals with science fiction, but he doesn't want to be called a yes. science fiction writer, too. Well, there's many, uh, there's uh, uh, Margaret Atwood yeah. is like that. In a Cormac film. McCarthy. Cormac McCarthy, and... Um, I was thinking of something else recently. Uh, oh, the Stephen Mitchell who wrote Cloud Atlas. These are all books that have lots of science fiction things in them, but they don't aren't published as science fiction. Michael Shaban, who won the he won the Hugo Award with a book that was not published as science fiction. So I think that the, in some ways the, the field is dispersing a little bit. It's not it's not the one thing. And also there's a lot of different kinds now. It used to be there's only like mostly only a couple of little. There's a small. Uh, Venn diagram, one small circle of what was science fiction. Now there are many, many sorts that don't even, I think people don't even agree about whether they're all science fiction. So in some ways the genre has, has become more diffuse in uh, the last 20 years. Um, you know, what the trends are, I don't know so much. I mean, uh, there's a lot of science fiction that seems to be about uh, the internet and information technology. Still, a lot of that since the cyberpunk still going on. But then also there's uh, all this uh, uh, post-human science fiction. The next book that Jim Kelly and I are going to do will be about post-human stories. Mm -hmm. um, 
And then there's also a lot, I think, of fear about uh, global warming and ecological catastrophe and you know uh, political chaos. Uh, I think that that's a, a big trend in science fiction. People are worried about the next 50, 60 years. Uh, no, no space opera. That's Not so much. No, no uh, space and aliens. I mean, people write it for fun, but it's, they, they don't seem to, seem to take it as seriously as they yeah. used to. I don't know. Uh, do you think there is going, the, the probability is there going to be a, a, a new movement in science fiction, like there was the new way, like there was the cyberpunk? I think, I think it's probably true that there will be, but usually you can't tell these things in advance, you know, mm -hmm. uh, until they sure. happen. And suddenly, yeah, everyone's, everyone's all, all around it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean there was a new space opera movement and a lot of people writing, uh, uh, you know, space opera. And, and actually, I guess I haven't read a lot of it, but I guess there's some pretty, pretty good books there, pretty good stories. Maybe there'll be a move back to saying, okay, enough of this serious stuff. Let's just have science fiction that's for entertainment. You know, mm -hmm. one of the other things that's happened is fantasy has become much larger than science fiction, which would have surprised me 30 years ago that there would be, or 40 years ago that there are more, more people reading fantasy than there are reading science fiction. So, you know, Harry Potter has sold many, many, many more books. Or, you know, George R. R. Martin, who was a science fiction writer, and uh, now has made, uh, you know, immense uh, audience from from his fantasy books. Yeah. So, uh, okay, Mr. Kessel. Thanks for, thanks for your time. Thank you for, uh, for your very good questions. It was, it was very good to talk to you. And it's a uh, pleasure to, to be outside of the United States and to meet people who are, are engaged so much in thinking and the future and all that. So okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.